Hello again Airsofters, today we're going to talk about some alternative gases and whether or not they're going to work. I have not tried these, so we're, this is real time, real experimentation. <coughs> the reason it is, uh, this gas that you buy for these airsoft guns is expensive. This one is a larger can, it's 1100 milliliters, for me it was around like $10, $12. And it only weighed 412 grams, this is brand new, I weighed it with the can. It weighs 412, so I don't even know how much gas is in this because I can't. I gotta wait till the gas runs out to wait just the can. So I have another can of this. It works fine. I was thinking about refilling propane bottles. This is called map gas. It's some sort of soldering, uh, you know, brazing. It's like a blowtorch gas, pretty much. I haven't used this either because I was waiting, <laughs> waiting for an adapter to show up. What I like about this can is it's very strong. It's much stronger than those airsoft cans. All right. This one weighed 867 grams full. I haven't touched it at all. So, historically, you know, if you just use the regular uh, airsoft thing, you have the really long nozzle. And But I'm, I don't think you can refill this because I went and got some refill adapters. All these things came from AliExpress the adapters. Let's go over some of these things. Oh boy. So this is a propane refill adapter, but I haven't even decided if I'm going to buy a propane tank. This would go into the, your propane tank for like your barbecue and then this end threads on to a, a camping fuel stove canister, which I believe is the same threading as this but I don't know because the nozzle is too long I don't think you can remove this nozzle from this can so uh, right now I can't use this but I can use it to do the propane tanks so this propane tank you can buy this adapter and this plugs right onto that yellow propane tank and then this thing will screw into this so then you could refill that, you know, tank, assuming you have a scale and you fill up the amount, the exact grams that's supposed to take. So this would let propane in and then you close it when it's full and then you let out any extra pressure with this valve. Stuff is cheap on uh, AliExpress. But I can't show you that today because I haven't even decided if I'm going to do it. But uh, what I'm going to do is show you one last can. Hold on. So if you live in Asia, you might be familiar with these things. These are butane gas cartridges for cooking stoves, like camping cooking stoves. Maybe they sell them in North America, I'm not sure. The reason why you can't really use this in a magazine is the nozzle is too big. Um, going back to the airsoft one, you can see the diameter is significantly larger, right? You can't jam this thing into a uh, airsoft uh, magazine. But, again, on AliExpress, there's a bunch of different adapters. So this is like three set of plastic adapters here. You can, it can go on here. See? Then there's two other brass ones I found. This one is called a Maruman. It's for a lighter called a Maruman. I marked it red so I know it's, it's different. And uh, this one's brass, and it does not it does not go on to this so this is meant for lighter fluid canisters the reason why I don't want to use lighter fluid no this isn't very good at all never mind you probably don't want to buy this this Maruban one this is a regular you know refill thing for lighters but it's too big so now we know that Maruban is probably no good let's look at uh, <coughs> the new Dunhill type of lighters okay let's see if this thing fits on anything So will it fit on this lighter can? No, this is really, really wobbly also. I think if you put an O-ring down in these things, maybe it'll work. But for me, lighter fluid is really expensive. It costs the same as the actual gas for the Airsoft, but it's smaller. So I don't want to use this at all. I'll put that, put that away. Well, let's see if this fits on this cooking stove one. Nope, again, too big or too small to fit on it. So these lighter adapters, 
not not a good idea. I just wasted money, but maybe I saved you something. But for some odd reason, this one is also listed as a lighter adapter, and it is fitting onto this butane thing here. All right, so we're gonna check the speeds. So the baseline, of course, is the actual airsoft gas. So brand new canister and uh, my AAP. Here's the AAP magazine. So I'm gonna fill it until I don't hear any noise. Okay, noise stopped. All right, so safety glasses. I'm naturally doing this outside because this is propane gas. I don't want to be blowing a bunch of gas around in my, my place and exploding my apartment. Ready to go. Safety is off, but let's turn on these chronographs. So I'm shooting both of these magazines, the same BBs, Crown .20s. It's just what I have right now. I don't really have any uh, preference towards BBs, really. Although I did do a video on accuracy, but that was more than a rifle. Uh, this thing has to go higher. Ill prepared. All right, let's shoot through this uh, East Tech one first. Focus on the screen. Huh, nothing registered. 368. I don't know if it's jamming or what. It's very high. I think it's because it's a brand new can of uh, gas. 363. Hmm. So 360 is dropping down to 340s now. 337. Hold on, let me hit focus on the screen again. It's really hard for me to tell with this uh, mobile phone if, if it's in focus. All right, it's out. So, you know, I think it did shoot. I mean, I had a full magazine. This Ace Tech, maybe the battery is running low. It still has one bar on the battery. It started at 360, almost 370, ended up at 312. Hmm. For reliability's sake, I'm gonna switch over. Let me go and refill these with some more of these BBs. I hope this magazine isn't going bad. It's relatively new. You can clearly see it's full of BBs right now. So let's try with the this alternate one here. Okay, we're back to this Ace, Ace Tech with brand new batteries. It's got five bars on the batteries. I had to focus on that screen. Let's try to finish this magazine off. Still only registered one. out all right so I don't know what the deal is with chronographs if they're all just garbage but uh, clearly a few shots went through there without actually registering but anyways we have around 370 to 320 somewhere in that ballpark let's see I scroll down here it started at 350 and then ended at 320 but the very first refill was much higher as you saw all right, so now the question is, these other gases, let's see, uh, in particular, let's get this, uh, so we have this adapter here that screws onto this thing here. So this, like I bought off AliExpress, this actually has an oil port, but you don't really need to put oil into a gun to my understanding, you know? 
the gun, the oil is only for the physical slide friction. It has nothing to do with the bolt needing oil and stuff. I mean, at least in this, it's, it's plastic anyways. But in, the intention is this is supposed to fit one of these propane tanks or camping stove tanks. I've never screwed this on, so I don't know what's going to happen. Okay, nothing dramatic, so that's nice. And then there's some sort of cover. So there we go. Let's take the same magazine again. I gotta refill it again. Hold on a second. Okay, it is refilled. And I think this, this nozzle is long enough to go through. You don't have to remove this, this backing plate. So let's just see. Whoop. I feel like this, first of all, this map gas smells. It has definitely a bad odor to it. Okay, the gas is coming out of this, so I didn't, I didn't tighten that enough. I gotta turn the fan on. Yeah, this gas really smells bad. So I'm gonna leave the fans on, because that initial, I wanna make sure it's fully, I didn't hear any gas. I was holding it kind of far away, but that has to be full now. Okay, so we got full BBs again. Let's turn this thing on, feed this thing in. It's kind of disconcerting that the uh, thing just automatically slides forward. Maybe it has to do with the this trigger. This trigger is great, TTI, but obviously, the slide slide lock is not working as well as it could. All right, so hold on. Let me hit the focus on this thing. Hmm. 308. Oh, it smells so bad. I can't. I can't take this. And then 950, 843. See what's going on in there. It's definitely shooting, but the this thing is not registering anything. So that's messed up. Empty. Yeah, empty. So let's take a look at these numbers here in case it went out of focus, which it probably did. So it ended up on the 10th shot of 312. And so what is going on here? Maybe a dub, double fed? I don't know. I mean, why, why is there a 950 and a 843? So weird. But 308, it peaked around 320-ish, 330-ish. So I will say one thing, it's very consistent. The FES drop isn't bad. But this gas smells so bad that I can't use it. <laughs> I feel like I'm actually choking and the fan is on. So, <coughs> what I might probably do is uh, just save this. Save this for later and then maybe refill it with just propane. Which, I don't know if that's going to smell bad either. I don't know if cooking propane in this country smells bad. But for now, I would not suggest map gas. I swear it just took five years off my life breathing in that gas. It's horrible. So the last one to check out is this Mr. Stove. This is brand, not brand new obviously. It's probably half empty, but I can hear the sloshing around. So there's still liquid gas in here. I'm gonna just spray a little out just to see if this stuff smells. All right, I don't feel like throwing up like that map gas, so I think this is worth a try. All right, I've filled this thing up with, you know, 24, 25 BBs. I forget what the AAP holds. And then let's uh, fill this up. So that's interesting. The, the liquid 
in here. I don't know. It's, it's a little weird. I've never heard bubbling from one of my airsoft uh, cans. So I don't know if it's dumping in too much of liquid, which makes me think it might shoot higher pressure. I guess we're gonna find out. Let's turn this on again. Get the camera a little closer. And let's see if it registers. Forty-five, three forty-seven, three eight thirty-eight. Oh, this is good. It's done to smell a little bit. Yeah, it definitely smells now. Alright, most of the magazine red, not all of them. You'll see it ended at 275, but I was doing a more faster shooting towards the end that might have affected it. But the start was pretty good. Uh, started at 345 and dropped off a few FPS every shot. The problem is, it smells. So, seems like this cooking gas, butane gas here, has an odor to it. The airsoft gas doesn't have an odor to it, uh, which is nice, and so that's what makes it tolerable. It's probably still not good to breathe any of that stuff in. It's all propane, butane, right? So, I don't know what, this, what to think. If I was playing outdoors, I think this would be fine. I don't know about indoors. I might try it out, see what happens, see if I want to throw up or, or not. If it's a big warehouse, maybe it won't be an issue, but if it's like a low ceiling, Everyone's going to complain. You're going to be the guy that plays with smelly gas. <coughs> okay, so that's basically what I learned today. In fact, now that I think of it, because it still smells, neither of these are good. They just smell so bad. The, uh, the odor that they put in there artificially to warn people that there's gas around. Whereas the airsoft one, they don't have that odor added in. Okay, well, if for some reason you don't care about the odor, you can use cooking gas, but you gotta get one of these plastic uh, nozzles from AliExpress. The little lighter ones, uh, these do fit a magazine, but um, you would have to use a can of lighter fluid. Not fluid, but you know, a can of this in order to fit. I don't know, I think a lot of gas would leak because it's open o-ring on the inside that kind of smells as well by the way so all right well what I'm starting to think is maybe I don't want to refill off a propane tank I don't know if the propane again in my country smells I know it smells I think in uh, North America so it might not make sense but I do hear on read on forums people do use it you know they, they refill these things hopefully this helped you guys out maybe not but if not i'll just see you in the next airsoft video thanks for watching today